You think The Rock looks like he has rocks under his skin because of the French toast he's eating? No, that's why Coach Greg looks like he does. Coach Greg, so I'm scrolling through YouTube looking for videos and I come across something by BuzzFeed. 20 million followers, BuzzFeed. It says, which celebrity makes the best French toast? So I clicked the video thinking, well, obviously I'm going to come out as number one. And I'm not even a contender. Not even in the video. What in the world is wrong with these people? Who makes the best French toast? And today we're here to test out four celebrity French toast recipes to see which one is the best one. On today's lineup we have Oprah Winfrey, Kylie Jenner, Jason Derulo, and my favorite wrestler in the whole wide world, The Rock. Okay, so he picked up four celebrities, none of which are Coach Greg, and he's doing a taste test challenge to see who makes the best French toast. If you want to clickbait Coach Greg, could have got more views, only have 175,000 views in four days. They have 20 million followers and only get 175,000 views. I mean, what are they doing wrong? That's pathetic. You should be getting a million views in a day if you have 20 million followers. You got to pick the right people for your videos. And I brought a few French Toast fans to help me figure out which one is the best recipe. So which celebrity has the Frenchiest toast? Stay tuned and find out. I mean, est-ce qu'il peut parler français? Who has the best French toast? Are they even French, these people? Who has the Frenchiest toast? Getting annoyed by this video. First up, we have Oprah Winfrey. She's gonna start off by slicing her French toast. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey, she's fat, she's thin, she's fat, she's thin. Can she pick a weight and go for it? She needs to follow a diet she can do for the rest of her life. She's always up and down, up and down. She's got all the money in the world. It's $99, Oprah. Come on, Oprah. Get the correct cookbook, the correct plan, and even you can lose weight. But just don't go for too much. Be realistic. In the mixing bowl, we're gonna add eggs, sugar, milk, sour cream, salt, vanilla, and mix it all up. And yeah, I'm Oprah, I can't lose weight. It's, it's genetics, you know, it's Oprah. No, Oprah, it's whole eggs and sugar and everything you're putting in your French toast. Use your brain, people. Oh, it's genetics, you know. I can't, you know, I'm big boned. Stop making excuses. Calories in, calories out. In a pan, we're gonna melt some butter and toast the French toast. Yeah, let's just, oh, let's just add five pounds of butter to the mix. Oh, who makes the best French toast? I know, instead of making French toast, let's just eat cookies. I mean, it's French toast. She's got whole eggs, extra butter, sugar, cream. Well, why don't we just add some hazelnut, maybe some haagen ice cream, some Ben and Jerry's on the top, top it off with more chocolate sauce, and then some cookies, and who makes the best French toast? And you wonder why you're not in shape. And you can eat one of Oprah's French toast, or eight of Coach Greg probably have the same calories. You wonder why you're not losing weight. You're following these celebrity French toast recipes. You think it's okay. Oh, they're celebrities. I'm going to follow them. Guess what? You can eat French toast, but try to make it even maybe slightly healthy. I do like the texture, how crunchy it is. It's not bad, but I don't love it. It's not bad. That's equal to saying it's horror awful. For all those calories, it's not bad. To waste all that fat and calories on that French toast, it had best be the best bite I've ever had in my life. I feel like this immediately takes me like to a beach. It takes her to the beach? Is French toast supposed to take you to the beach? Coming in hot, we got Kylie Jenner. In the mixing bowl, we're gonna combine eggs, milk, cinnamon, vanilla, and we're gonna beat that like Michael Jackson. Is that an appropriate joke? We're gonna beat that like Michael Jackson? So beat it. I make better jokes about Michael Jackson. Don't wanna see no blood, don't be a macho man. In a Ziploc bag, we're gonna crush up some Frosted Flakes to make some nice little dust. We're gonna take each piece of bread and dip it in our egg batter and coat it in our Frosted Flakes. Okay, right away, Kylie Jenner's is, is at least way healthier than Oprah Winfrey's. And frankly, Kylie Jenner looks a lot more in shape, a lot healthier than Oprah Winfrey. Maybe it's because of the diet. I see cornflakes, not coconut. And I see whole eggs and milk, not cream. I don't see a ton of sugar. Clearly, it's the winner in my eyes so far. And I don't need to taste the French toast. I know what's going to win before I even taste it. In a pan, we're going to melt some butter and we're going to toast it. I like how he says some butter. 
What is wrong with me? Spray, spray one second with Pam. You don't need to add 300 calories of butter to the French toast to make it taste good. If it can't taste good without butter, guess what? It wasn't good in the first place. You should be able to like something without the butter. You shouldn't need butter. I don't add butter to anything. Nothing, I don't add butter. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I put a teensy weensy amount to my grilled cheese, but that's because it's got, but that's because I don't know why I do that. Why do I add the butter to the grilled cheese? It's the only thing I add butter to. And it's hardly any, and it's 50% reduced fat butter. Half the calories. In the pan, she had some brown sugar just for some extra added sweetness. You don't need extra added sweetness, brown sugar. It's called syrup, low calorie syrup. And to finish it off, she tops it off with some whipped cream. And there you have it, Kylie Jenner's Frosted Flake Coated French Toast. Why does everyone have a fascination of topping things off with whipped cream? They've seen one or two many porns, I would say. This one does not look like French toast to me at all, so I'm like kind of weirded out. Exactly! Doesn't even look like French toast. Who makes the best French toast? Here's a lobster bisque. What are, what are you doing? Why can't French toast be French toast? This looks like a moldy hash brown or something. Hey, some of my blueberry French toast looks moldy, but it's absorption of the blueberries. And until you taste it, you don't know what you're missing. It's not what it looks like and how it tastes, right? Right, babe? This seems like something I could easily make at home. It's like pretty simple. She thinks that simple? Imagine if she had my recipe. That's so complicated compared to mine. This is advanced bakery if you ask me. Coming in third, we got Jason Rulo. At a mixing bowl, we're gonna put together a standard French toast egg mixture, but he throws in a twist of coconut flake. In another bowl, we're gonna put together Captain Crunch Berries, Fruit Loops, and Lucky Charms for a nice, sweet rainbow surprise. What is wrong with you people? You don't need to combine all your favorite cereals into your French toast. You're allowed to have French toast and bowl cereal. I'm gonna have cereal and some French toast. You're allowed to order two meals. When Coach Greg goes out to eat, I always order two meals. Can't eat one. Why do you think I can survive on one meal? No, I need two meals. I don't say, yeah, I want the shrimp risotto and some french fries and a burger and mix it up all together in one plate. No, I can have one here, eat my risotto, and have my burger and meet my french fries separately. I don't need it mixed together. You don't need to mix your cereal into your bread and make french toast out of it. This is nice. This is the least sweet of the french toast we've tried. Yet it has oodles of cereal, sugar cereal, and syrup on it. It's the least sweet. I mean, what is wrong with these French toast recipes when this is the least sweet? It's mostly just for show, the color. It doesn't really add a ton of flavor. It's just for show, it's just color. I mean, why don't I just draw a picture? You know, uh, here you go. Uh, French toast, uh, new French toast recipe. I'm gonna draw a smiley face and uh, put the picture on top of the freaking French toast. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You don't need a picture presentation. How does it taste? My blueberry French toast for sure tastes better than all of these meals. It has way less calories and it's actually healthy. You can eat it every day. This seems to be a dessert. Are you gonna argue with me? The bread is almost the healthiest part of the entire meal and it's the bread. But I kind of like this. If you don't like super sugary French toast, this is a good option for you. Yeah, if you, you know, uh, if you don't like sugary French toast, it's a good option. It's just full of sugar and syrup. If you don't like sugary syrup, though, uh, you should eat this one. People, get your low-calorie friggin' syrup. Low-cal syrup, non-sugar added. Miss Buttersworth, for example, that's the one I want. Put it on your bread, make sure it's got some fruit inside, some fiber, something healthy. None of these recipes added a bunch of healthy deliciousness. No, it's just, let's throw it as much sugar and shit and hope for the best. And the recipe everyone's been waiting for, The Rock. Why is everyone waiting for The Rock's recipe? You think The Rock looks like he has rocks uh... under his skin because of the French toast he's eating? No, that's why Coach Greg looks like he does. I thought The Rock was more famous for his pancakes. See this recipe, The Rock. You think The Rock could out eat Coach Greg in a French toast eating challenge? <laughs> no, Rock can't eat me. The hell did I just say there? It doesn't matter if The Rock could out eat Coach Greg anyway. The Rock's recipe's got way more calories. To serve, he tops it off with some peanut butter, jelly, and his tequila maple syrup. 
Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? I sure do. No, I can't in fact smell what The Rock's cooking. Uh, last I checked, scents haven't been able to be transmitted through the freaking YouTube channels. And if it could, it'd be pretty fantastic. I don't want to smell. I don't want to be hungry right now. I don't want to be hungry. I got to go to the gym, come back, and then I can eat. And all he did really, peanut butter and jam. Why did he just make a peanut butter and jam sandwich and have Coach Greg's recipe on the side? Get both. You're allowed to have two things. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I eat two things. Two, I order two. Two breakfasts, two lunch, two suppers. What is wrong with that? Have French toast and a peanut butter and jam sandwich. You don't have to make French toast and a peanut butter and jam sandwich on top. So many extra calories, you really need all those extra calories. Maybe The Rock does 200 plus pounds of muscle. Do you? Like for lunch today, I had two wraps and I had hot hamburg with peas. Had two meals, don't need to eat just one. Didn't mix them together. This one looks super different than your normal French toast. It's huge. That's what she said for sure. That's for sure what she said. You know that's what she said. This is fancy. This looks like a $50 brunch French toast. I'm really excited about this. I love peanut butter and jelly. Let's dive in. <gasps> this one's super good. Damn. Oh, so it's thick, so it means it's good. Well, actually, well, no, that's actually not what she said. She says it's too thick. It's not... It, don't even really know where to go with that. It, it can't be too thick. And look, he can't even work with it. You see him, it bled, it fell off the plate. It's too thick. Just because it's thicker doesn't mean it's better. Not all the time, okay? It might appear better till you try to get it in there and you have trouble with it and it's harder to cut and uh, you can't fit it in your mouth and it's a problem, okay? Thickness, you, you think it's good, but it might not always be so good. Out of these four celebrity French toast recipes, my favorite has to be number one. I love the coconut crust. I thought it was perfectly moist. It still felt like a traditional French toast. Oh, but of course it's Oprah. Out of the four French toasts that I've tried, number four is definitely my favorite. It looks super fancy, like the kind of French toast you would pay like $15 for. Imagine if she found out how cheap it was to make my French toast. They even have YouTube videos explaining how to make more than one of them. And there you have it. Oprah has the best French toast recipe. I think everyone is going to get a French toast, you get a French toast, and you get a French toast because Oprah Winfrey takes today's. And Oprah Winfrey takes the cake, the first prize, and actually there's more calories in her French toast than in fact cake. So why don't we compare the challenge? The next challenge should be this. Here's Oprah Winfrey's 500 calories worth of French toast, and here's 500 calories of actual cake, actual dessert. Now pick which one's the best. When you're eating something, when you choose to eat something, you have to think, what can I eat for this many calories? You have 500 calories for breakfast. How do you choose to spend it? Do you want one of Oprah Winfrey's French toast? Or do you want four of Coach Grant's French toast? Which is more appealing? When you actually see it in front of you, in front of your eyes, you can make that decision. Oprah Winfrey's French toast, about as healthy as a Snicker bar and a score bar with a whole egg. If you consider the macros, the calories, what you're getting out of it, it's about like eating one egg, and a shitload of crap. Worse than probably any breakfast you, that's right, like you watching this, any breakfast you've ever eaten. About as bad as you could get. Worse than your parents would have ever let you. What do you eat when you're growing up? Probably Fruit Loops, Pebbles, Count Chocula, whatever. It's worse than that. It's worse than whatever you could have eaten. So unhealthy. So, Oprah, congratulations, you make the best French toast. Yay! If you want to eat like Oprah, maybe look like Oprah, be my guest. If you want to have a leaner physique, probably not the best choice. Not saying she looks bad, just saying she's not at a healthy weight. Which one of these celebrity recipes was your favorite? Leave a comment below. If I had to choose one for myself, I probably would eat the Rock's French Toast, but I would put way less butter and spray the pan. I'd put egg whites, not the whole eggs. I would soak the French toast way longer than that. I wouldn't put peanut butter, maybe PB2 if I had to, low calorie jam if I had to, and of course the syrup. Speaking of French toast, a new record has been set for the French toast challenge. Thousand calories, eat as fast as you can. French toast with a fork, follow my recipe.
Max versus Fu did it in a minute and 33 seconds. Did it? You can only use the fork. He said the hardest part, basically getting it in your mouth. I know that's what she said. But anyway, that is the truth. It's harder than it looks. He then continues to eat two more of those stacks. 3,000 calories. He uses hands and experiment and see. It's an interesting video. Have a look if you want. Let's do this. In three, two, one. And he starts out pretty slow. He's having a hard time getting a French toast in the mouth. He's doing the best he can. He's only got a fork. Remember, no knife in this one. Just a fork. Lean it over, getting the mouth as close to the French toast as possible. Obviously, it's a huge advantage. Eliminating the distance from the food to the mouth to really maximize speed. He's chewing, he's swallowing, he's doing the best he can, get it down as fast as possible. He's speeding up, he's driving the entire stack, he's doing it all at once, ramming it in his throat. Watch what this guy can do. Ram it down his throat. He has not enough syrup. The syrup lubricates the French toast, makes it easier to go down. You want the lube, you need the lube. More lube than last time. Lather it up, lube it up, and let it get in there. If it's too thick, it won't fit. You gotta pace yourself. Ease it in there. You shove it in too fast, it could hurt. Hurt your throat. Don't want that. Finish it off strong. He's got it going on now. He knows what he's doing. He's getting used to it. Fork shoveling the French toast to the mouth. So as you can see, I pretty much finished most of it off in around 25 seconds and then kind of just clean it all up. But I'm gonna take my time as being around one minute 33. I'm gonna give him a minute and 31 for that. He said a minute and 33. Congratulations, new record, a minute and 31. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe someday Oprah Winfrey or the rocker. These people will learn what real French toast looks like and they will eat the best French toast with less calories than last time. GregDoucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IV Pro. Blooping up two videos you know you need and want to watch both. Watch them both. And until next time, I'm out.